I want to share with you some tricks and tips on how to change column width, also why we would do something like this. If we have something very small like a checkbox and it has a lot of space on the left and the right, sometimes our columns are going off to the right and we want to condense it. So we can click on the A column and just between the A column and the B column, our cursor is going to turn into this arrow with a bar. We can click and drag it down so that it's just about the width we want. And there it's a smaller width. There's another way we can resize this is right click on the column, resize column, and we can choose a number of pixels for this. Maybe we want it to be a very even number like 40. There it is, just a slight change. Now we have three columns, but they are not all the same and we shouldn't treat them all the same. Something where we're writing long descriptions, maybe even task names or descriptions, we want those to be longer, have a lot of space because the writing may go wider. But due date and status are fairly simple. We can actually move these next to each other. And what I like to do is make sure that these are the same size. So I'll select B and C, right click, resize column, and I'll resize it to a number that's a multiple of some other columns. So our A was 40, so I might make this 120. Click OK and see it all fits nicely and the status and due date are similar width, where task is longer. What this also does is brings the eye and the attention on the sheet to the task column where it has more space. There's one little trick that I like to do, not all the time, but it does come in handy sometimes. I'll select B, C, and D. And right where I would normally click and drag, if I wanted to make these all the same size, I would do that. But what if I wanted to make them all the minimum size possible. I can double click right between the C and D or B and C. And now, based on whatever is in the cell, it's going to automatically make the width of the column the least possible to include everything. So if we have design presentation due tomorrow, we can double click this again next to D and it will automatically make this bigger or even smaller. If we only had one word here, we can double click there and now our task is much smaller column size. So I thought that was an interesting trick you might like. Make sure you subscribe to Better Sheets to make your Google Sheets life better here on YouTube.